I mean, you mentioned earlier on about uh, the glorification of Pablo. Uh, you know, decades after his death, there is still almost, not a cult of personality, but glorification of Pablo Escobar. I see people with Pablo Escobar t-shirts. Uh, there's a there's a local company uh, in Liverpool that, that sells a, t- a very popular t-shirt that has Pablo Escobar's face on. It's almost like a fashion statement. What do you think of the fact that this man was a villain and this man killed a lot of people and you you tried so hard to kind of convey this message through the media that this person should not be glorified and it shouldn't be, you know, rock and roll, the fact that he would was so ruthless, yet he's still kind of being glorified in certain aspects of society. Well, you know what? We go uh, here in the States, we do a lot of law enforcement conferences. And you'll see cops show up with T-shirts on that have Pablo's face on the front of it. And, and you know, we think it's funny. Um, but, you know, you look at Javier and I, I mean, you can see us on the screen. Who the heck wants our face on a T-shirt? So if they want Pablo, that's fine. The truth is, you know, you – we go out and tell the true story. We want the world to know the truth about Pablo. There's nothing, nothing – Robin Hood about him whatsoever. He was no kind of, of hero to anybody. He was a sadistic mass murderer is exactly what he was. The world's first narco-terrorist. Think about that. What's a narco-terrorist? It's just basically a narcotics trafficker that employs terroristic activities in his drug business. And that's exactly what Pablo did. Well, he you defined know, the term. <laughs> I'm sorry? He defined the term by being the first. There had to be he a did. name for him because he was so... He did. Yeah. So it's, if, you know... There are people out there that still think Adolf Hitler is some kind of hero. I mean, you talk about a mass murderer. Here's a guy that tried to wipe out an entire ethnic group. Uh, people think Che Guevara is a, a, a big folk hero. They're nothing more than, than anarchists that are, you know, out for themselves. They're not out for other people. So um, that's, you know, the, the nice thing about the free world is you make up your own mind what you want to think and who you want to follow. And if that's who they think their hero is, I'm okay with it. I, I don't have a problem with that. It's, I think it's ridiculous, and I think they're very ill-informed about who they're supporting. We get through our website and through our social media sites, I mean, we get threatening emails from people. We get uh, messages from people that um, think that Pablo is still some kind of hero, and, you know, they, you, you know we're the bad guys. So, yeah, the world's a screwed-up place. Are these Colombian people all, all ill-informed? The Americans or, or otherwise? Uh, to my knowledge, we haven't gotten any from any Colombians. Uh, we get them from Americans and we get them from all over the rest of the world. Um, we just got one yesterday, uh, some, somebody from India, you know, and, and this was kind of a surprise to us. Our biggest fans come from the country of India, believe it or not. We, Javier and I went over there. We did shows in three different cities there and, and wherever we travel around the world, if there are people in the audience from India, they will stick around after the show to meet us and ask for pictures and autographs, stuff like that. So our biggest friends come from the country of India, closely followed by Europe, especially the UK. But this one came, it kind of surprised me that someone from India sent us this nasty note. I mean, they talk about, you know, they want to shoot us, they want to cut our heads off and shit down our throats and stuff like that. And it's <laughs> sick people. In the world. I, I mean, on the flip side of it, though, if you, uh, I mean, there's points in the book. I don't want to, you know, carry on sharing every bit of information from the book. There, there's a point. There's points in the book where, uh, after the death of Pablo, people are quite profoundly uh, overwhelmed when they see you in particular, Steve. But I imagine you, you both get that because of what you've done to help bring down Pablo Escobar. Uh, how much have you got of that, of the fact that people are just so unbelievably grateful that you brought down someone that caused so much pain? JP? Well, yeah, yeah. Let me, yeah, we were, uh, like I said, a- after Pablo Escobar gets, uh, gets killed, I mean, uh, the majority of Colombians liked it. The majority of Colombians were fed up with the car bombs, with the discriminant killings. Uh, you know, the go- government of Colombia awarded Steve and I uh, medals. You know, they gave us a special commendation, which had never been done before. So we have that. They had a little ceremony. Uh, so they acknowledged us. 
and uh, uh, but the majority were very very thankful. We had, we still have a lot of good friends. You know, obviously Pablo had a following, and and, and you and you're right, Barry. You know when. When he died, uh, the coffin, they broke it out. They're parading it down the streets. People, I mean, tons of people uh, are, are there worshiping him. So that following, but the majority were happy because they knew that, you know, innocent people would, would, would not die anymore. So uh, there's, uh, you know, I, you know, I, and I got to just say, the, the majority were, were, were happy with us. Were, yeah, well, and we still have a lot of friends. Uh, we've been back uh, to Colombia. I mean, they don't know us by face. They know, and, you know, uh, but, you know, what we, we like talking about this, uh, Harry, because this is history. And we lived it. We were there. And we want people to know what actually happened. And you know what? I'm glad you brought up the point that we uh, we acknowledge the Colombian National Police. Uh, a lot of times people don't acknowledge that. They think they are they were corrupt. They're, you know, I mean, at the beginning, we had some corruption. But, you know, it's one of the, some of the bravest people that uh, – that worked. Some of the pra bravest people that we knew, they they knew they could get killed, and a lot of them did. So, uh, I, I think they were. I mean, everybody was happy. You know, uh, the bombing stopped. You know, and I think Steve says the best stopped were what two weeks, and then <laughs> went out again, and then the other cartels took it over, and you know, we're in the same boat right now, Harry.